there seemed to be a very big disconnect between the president of Kenya and his citizens or the people he leads. This comes after the remarks he made yesterday, which were more of a threat. And even before we look at the threats he made, let's listen uh, to this reaction when he was visiting people at or in Bomet. <laughs> are the electorates and in fact Bomet is among the regions in the Republic of Kenya that gave Ruto, the president a very large chunk of vote. And for those who may not be vast with Swahili they are shouting mwizi mwizi they are saying that a thief, a thief a thief and imagine that is their president and their president goes on uh, and then uh, makes these sentiments. Going forward, we will protect the nation. Going forward, we will protect the nation. We will protect life. We will protect property. We will stop the looters. We will stop the killers. We will stop mayhem. We will stop anarchy because Kenya is a democracy and we want a peaceful, stable nation. And our issues are resolved using democratic means. Ama munasema je watu wa Kenya? Munasema tusimamishe hii fujo? Na tusimamishe hii vita? Na tusimamishe maandamano ya maafa? Na maandamano ya kuharibu mali ya watu? I want to promise you it's going to stop. Enough is enough. Ama munasema je? Si imetosha hii maneno? Walisema tusipitisha finance bill. Mimi nimewacha finance bill. Nikawaita wakanasema hawataki kuja kuzungumza na mimi. Wakaniambia niende huko kwa X. Mimi nikaenda kwa X. Wakatoroka huko hawakuweko. Wakaniambia tuitishe mazungumzo. Nimeitisha mazungumzo wamekataa. Nimewaambia wanaendelea kusema wao ni faceless, wao ni formless, sijui wako nini. Mimi nimewaambia sasa my friends, you know, I have given a chance to everybody to say whatever they want. You know, it cannot continue like this. The country is much more important than any group of people. We must stand together as a nation, protect our nation, and make sure that Kenya is a democracy. Tunaelewana ama na magani jameni? Tuko pamoja? Watu wa bomet, munasema tuwe na amani? Munasema we want peace? Eh? Munasema? You want peace? Turudia we want peace? Munasemaje? 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 Ebu nisikie tena? From the voice and the way the president is expressing himself, you can clearly see that he's 
very frustrated and is more of uh, uh, treating the people than accepting the reality. And this has been interpreted in different ways. There are people who interpret this as a necessary thing to be done to ensure uh, that he shows he has the power and he's the one who is in control. While the critics view this as a sign of weakness of a leader who has failed to lead his people and therefore he is using manipulation, threats, and such kind of uh, ways to try and uh, calm them down. Now, in this video, I want us to critically assess the situation, uh, especially the statement that came from the president and how people reacted to him in Bomet, so that we can be able to get the bigger picture to see uh, if the president is right or are the people who is leading who are right. So if you are new to our channel, I'm requesting to take you take a moment, you hit the subscribe button so that we can continue with this kind of conversation. Remember at the Socrates TV, we explore, discuss and discover the hidden stories uh, that are shaping our political landscape. Now, for me, I think uh, the way the president expressed himself uh, in Bomet, whereby he was lecturing the Gen Z's, telling them that enough is enough. And I think it is justified from his perspective, considering that he has also tried his best to try and uh, calm down these young protesters uh, through his means, eh? his strategies that he saw fit. That is according to him. I do not necessarily mean that that was the best way to approach but maybe that is what he feels or he believes was the best way. So after exhausting his uh, means and strategies of quelling down the protest, he has resorted to intimidation. Cham has failed. Now, uh, Cham will have been a very good strategy if he was dealing with people who do not know what they want. People who can just be manipulated. But the Gen Z's have proved that they know what they want. They have been looking at what he has been doing for quite some time. And they know the likely moves he is able to make to ensure that they stop the protest. Now, he has resorted to intimidation, whereby these people also, of course, they even expected that. They expected him to intimidate them more than they expected them. Uh, him to try to be cool and try to be a good person. So it is even, uh, it, it works or it's very normal uh, for him to intimidate the people than he was acting like calling them my children, my younger people, uh, my citizen, because they found that very dubious and very hypocritical of him considering how they have really known who he is. So now the, the fact that they are acting from the normal baseline, I think uh, it even works against the president. And the fact that even after just making the comments that he made, I have been trying to find information to see how people reacted to it. In fact, in itself, it created even more dissent because these Gen Z protesters felt like the president now wants to force on them that which uh, he believes should be done. And they also think that the president is not really interested in solving or providing solutions uh, to the problem that they are facing, especially those that they have identified. But his interest is only but to manage them. Now, what does it mean when citizens start uh, shouting at the president, calling him wheezy, and behaving in that rowdy manner. I think that simply means that this uh, citizen have lost, or they have totally lost confidence in their leader. And they do not look at him as an inspiration or a person to trust. 
that is why uh, now they have decided to express themselves verbally so that the leader can hear and there are two uh, goals that are intended here they want the leader either to hear what they are saying and act that is stop uh, uh, mismanagement be accountable follow the constitutions and many other things that they have been raising the other thing they want to achieve they want to show him that they do not fear him and they also do not want him so in short they are telling him that his time is up and he should do the necessary so i am not sure if the president is really in reality or is getting the information from these people because even the strategy he's using to try and deal with the people are those that are only but counterproductive i think the first moment or the way he has been doing before was okay where he was trying to talk to people in some polite manner okay I think as much as it was still being received uh, hypocritically on the, uh, and uh, not being viewed as the expectation of him, it was to some degree uh, making the people calm and had he continued to show that poster of a polite individual, even if it's not real, then it, some people will have been forced or may have found themselves actually trusting him but now uh, the fact that he has made himself or he has made these people to be aware that he was only but applying to play with their mind they even get more and more angry so what should the president do here i think the president needs to come back to the previous strategy he was using whereby he was talking to people you talk to people not talking at people so that even though you you don't expect that just because you are talking to them politely that now they'll just uh, wake up at once and now accept you you have to continually do it and show the intention that indeed you mean what you are saying because even while he was talking to the people politely and trying to convince them that everything is okay he will deal with all the problems but he went on further and done, did what he appointed the ministers he had fired so you know it really makes uh, it lose that value or it loses uh, the sense of the dissolution of parliament or dismissing of the member for parla of parliament so even that uh, happiness that had come or the relaxation or the relief that people had got after him firing uh, some of the camera sector people consider to be incompetent vanishes and people get back to their default setting and now the problem or the disadvantage here is if people now are getting back to uh, their anger or getting angry again it will be very difficult to convince them again that you have changed because they will, they will have seen the trend even if indeed you will mean well at that particular time of uh, reverting and ensuring that you now speak to them well it will be very difficult for you to really convince him so i think the president has missed something uh, that he, or he has made the position he will have used to stamp his authority as the president and as I come to the end of this analysis, I would like to pose to you this question. Now that the president, one person, is fighting against over 50 million people, who do you think will win? Please feel free to share your opinion at the comment box so that we can continue this kind of conversation. Until we meet again, bye-bye.